M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are with the Yaesu FT5 and we're looking at the ISS uh, space station and seeing if we can contact it, seeing if we can use the repeater. So we're doing it the quick way here. We're not using memory channels. We're not using split shift. We are literally just going to put it into bands A and B uh, and then uh, later on we'll test it. This is just for setup purposes. So get your um, FT5, put it into dual mode. How do you do this? So we're in dual mode now. So let's go hold it down, the A, B button. Look, that's single mode. You can select A and B. If you hold down A and B, you're in dual mode. The next thing is on A and B, you need to get it into VFO mode because this is the quick setup way. So look, VM button here underneath A and B to the left. Look, memory, VFO, memory, VFO. And do that on the B band as well. So you want it in VFO mode. And you can see it says VFO mode on the screen on the top left in white. So let's do the top half first. So the next thing is to set our tone, which is 67. So all you do is just the quick way is just hit the F menu button. If you look here on this grid, it's, if it's not showing up now, hit. So if we go back, look, that's we have to press forward at the moment. So because it's not showing. So we go forward and look on this screen here. We've got squelch type. So you just tap it there and turn the top channel knob and you can select tone. So we just selected tone then go back and on the to hit the F menu button again for shortcut and it says code tap code and look you can select 67 Hertz there um, with the channel knob see so you've done that on the on the a band go back then go B band and select 144990 FM again shortcut with the squelch type tone look and do the shortcut again code 67 hertz so you're all set up now the only thing that you need to remember is that you will have to change the frequency on the 70 centimeter portion now how do we even select the 70 centimeter portion the quickest way i think is just hold your finger on the top screen and then you can you can type in the frequency and push enter i think that's the quickest way of doing it and go to b band again hold your finger on the screen type in the frequency enter now we do we do have to um select the 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 tone steps we do need to do this so because we want it to when we do change the frequency if you look at the top half we, we're doing it in what well, increments of five okay so we're going to start off at 810 uh, so how do we get it into five just hold down f menu go to config you can move that with the channel knob config and then menu number 18 is step tap that and look you've got steps there actually I, it, I didn't press the wrong one of course so go back to 18 hit use the F menu I think you can select it with that if it's a bit fiddly with your fingers there it is number 18 step and look we can change it we could change it to 10 I suppose but I think 5 is more sensible we'll go back so right, so you're on the A, B screen. And again, I know there are other ways of doing this split mode and we could add it to memory channels, but this is the very quick way of you. You just quickly decided you want to sort the satellite out. Now, I've, if you look at my PC in the background, we've got the ISS tracker. So you know when it's coming over you and you can add the app to your phone or, to, or you can use a PC like I am at the moment. Antenna wise, yeah, you're going to need a decent antenna pointing in the right direction whether it's a beam, you're stood on a hill or collinear, and you need to lower your, your squelch as well. So there's another one. Uh, so you can hear what's going on. Right, so I think that's it for setup. We're not actually doing it now because the satellite isn't yet over us. We will be waiting for that on a separate video. So when it's, when it's coming towards you, you want to get the frequency on 437810. Now, I would put this on B ready for TX because you're not going to TX. Well, it's a funny one, really, actually. So anyway, let's start again. So when it's coming towards you, start on about 810. And then as it as it gets nearer, maybe 805. And then it, when it, when you think it's really near, get it on 437800. I'm just ch turning the channel change knob here manually. And then as it goes away, you're going down. OK, and you can try and talk to it. Right. When you TX, though, you are going to have to select B band uh, and th that frequency doesn't change. You stay on 144 
990, tone 67, and then you TX, hello, it's a QCQ, you know, call sign, and see if you can get a, a reply. Just remember that each time you you need to, if you ever need to change the frequency, you are going to have to just go up to on A band, and uh, but otherwise you'll be TXing on the B band. So give it a go. I've never done satellite ever, so this is for beginners, and um, definitely going to try it out later. I've got the app on my mobile phone looking forward to giving this one a try i'm just going to use my collinear um my collinear in the roof that's all i've got and uh, who knows we might get a weak signal there might get lucky so thanks for watching my video 73 please like and subscribe i will be doing a version of this using split mode and possibly yeah i think we've got split mode on the ft70 and adding memory channels so that it's all there pre-programmed you don't have to go into vfo mode and select everything seven three this is the quicker way if you ask me please like and subscribe to my channel catch you on air all the best